So around the time I was like 14 years old or so, I uh, I used to go to band camp, actually. The first year, uh, my parents like made me go. It's kind of weird when I think back on it. But yeah, they like made me go to band camp with my sister for that week. And uh, I met like some of the coolest people that I should probably do a better job keeping up with come to think of it but uh but yeah i mean it was like a really fun time like the first year was just cool getting to like know everybody uh because you know my sister's a year older than me so she already she already knew like the people who were pretty cool uh before before i even went so like the next year when i was allowed to go i walked into it and there were uh there were like a small group of people I like kind of just knew by association. And, uh, I ended up kicking it with them. Uh, I'm sure that that pissed off my sister really well that I made friends with all the guys that she met the year before, but you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so the second year that I went, right, we were, uh, we decided we were going to sign up for the talent show. Cause at the end of the week, uh, you know, at the very end of the week when your parents come to pick you up. And then we did like a little concert. But the night before, it was a talent show. And it was for all the people at the camp, right? And it could be anything. It didn't have to necessarily be music related. Though, I mean, it is a band camp. So, obviously, a lot of the talents were. So, me and these two guys. Uh, we, it was, it was, well, it wasn't just the three of us. There were like, I think five or six of us in on it, but two of them I had hung out with like every day the year before. But we signed up for the talent show as, uh, in the very last slot, we took the last slot and we just said, uh, the band was just the name of our act. And the description was a performance of Don't Stop Believing by Journey. So all week we kept it secret, right? We didn't, didn't tell, you know, when we would, you know, practice, we'd never tell anybody when we were practicing, we'd always like separate ourselves. Even when we talked about it, we would turn the music up really loud on our speaker and put it next to the door and then shut and lock the door. So that way, even people in the hallway couldn't even hear us discuss our act. I mean, we kept it tight because we knew that we were going to bring down the house since we were, we were the closing show. You know, we were, the, we were closing the talent show for the week. And I wish I could take credit for it, but it wasn't my idea because I mean it was great. The uh, so you know we're pretty much all week we're getting ready for this. We make sure nobody finds out what our act is or like what it's about, other than just the description. And when we walk backstage into the green room, because you know you watch the the whole show goes on for like two hours. So at you know you when somebody two or three acts ahead of you, then you go ahead and head back into the green room. So we go back there, and the only thing where I'm carrying my drumsticks and a drum stool. Nobody else has any instruments. So one of the counselors sees us walking back into the green room. He says, hey, um, where's your guys' instruments? Like, you, you're not allowed to leave them back here. We don't provide any of them. We say, no, man, you don't understand. We're an air band. We did an air band, a live air band performance of Don't Stop Believing. So we had like one of the dudes was like sitting, he was sitting on like a piano bench, like he was playing a keyboard. My other buddy, they didn't even have like a, a microphone. So he was holding a cell phone like it was a mic. And like we had two guys, we had one rhythm guitarist and an actual guitar. We put so much effort in, we probably could have just learned to play the song. Uh, and. So they, we turn up the, the speakers really loud. And like, I mean, my buddy who was like our, he was our front man. He was our lead singer. So he like starts walking up into the audience. He points out this one, this one kid who, uh, I mean, he, this, the, this kid was a goof. He was great at DDR. So obviously, you know, my buddy, he points at him like the songs about him. I mean, the whole thing was hilarious. And I, I swear we, that was, that was the 15th. That was where we peaked actually in terms of me. That was my 15 minutes of fame. I'm sure they, they've they gone on to do great stuff. Uh, I know one of them, like, I think he actually graduated, like, a music program at, like, a public arts college. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty 
obviously he's still he's still doing something with music um i haven't i haven't kept up with the rest of them very well but uh but yeah i man i wonder somebody got a video and put it online and like i'm sure it's it's got to be out there somewhere because that was uh that was that was a pretty big one uh hilarious stuff uh i i don't know i've I should have done more more of that kind of thing in high school instead of getting into trouble because that one was uh I still think about that from time to time. That was a pretty fun one. 